Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use the if function in Excel, otherwise known as the if statement. Now if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download the workbook right there. Now what I've got here is a sample um, list of sales employees with their sales for 2008. And I'd like to calculate if they're going to get a bonus or not. So what I want to do is to use an if statement to um, determine whether or not their sales amount was high enough to get a bonus. So basically it's going to go if their sales were a hundred thousand or more they get a bonus. And here I want to put a note so say Michael Scott gets a bonus or something like that. Or actually I'm not sure if he would uh, make the sales or not or get commission. So we'll take them off there. But anyway now that we've uh, fixed that here is the if statement syntax right here. So it's if, open parentheses, then we have what's called a logical test. Then if that logical test evaluates to true, do this. If that logical test evaluates to false, do this. Now, all a logical test is, is a value or expression or anything basically that can be evaluated to true or false. So yes or no, one or zero, pretty much. That's really all that it is. And it can be a whole host of things. This one is going to be a very simple comparison of numbers. So let's start it out with equals if open parentheses. Now I want to use my logical test. So I want to see if the number in this cell, so I'm going to click that, is greater than or equals to 100,000. Now I could also have this point to another cell in our worksheet and then we could simply type the 100,000 within that cell. But for this time I'm going to hard code it in. Not the best practice, but I'm just going to do it for this tutorial. So if this sales number or this number is greater than 100,000, comma, what do I want to do? Well, in this case, I'd like to output some text. Now, in order to output text from a formula or function, you need to put quotation marks around it. So, if the sales number is greater than 100 grand, I'd like to say simply gets bonus, comma, but if that number is not greater than or equals to a hundred thousand then I would like to say no bonus. Now you can put as much or as little text as you'd like in here but remember you're entering them into cells and cells usually don't provide you a lot of space to write stuff. So once I'm done with that close parentheses and let's hit enter. So poor Andy Bernard does not get a bonus. So you see it's really simple to do. Now one thing I'm going to do is to quickly copy this formula down. To do that I'm going to select the cell, go to the bottom right hand corner of the highlighted cell, click the square and drag it down. So now we can very quickly see who gets a bonus and who does not. Dwight gets a bonus, Jim gets a bonus, Stanley does and Phyllis. Pam does not. So that's how you can use an if statement. Now I'm going to put a few other things in this spreadsheet just so you can see what they are, particularly these comparison operators. That's what this guy is called right here. Now there are a number of those you can actually use. So let me go ahead and list those really quickly. Now these are all of the comparison operators that you can use within the logical test. So equals to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to. So you notice those simply go right here. Here I used the greater than or equal to comparison operator. Now that is a pretty quick introduction to the if statement. And there's one more quick thing I want to show you before I let you go in this tutorial. So what I did here was output text. Now if you wanted to output a number, you do not need quotation marks. So simply put a number in and you don't need quotation marks. 
So just take note, numbers, no quotation marks. As well, let's create another if statement right here that calculates the actual bonus amount. So let's do that and equals if open parentheses let's do our logical test if this is greater than or equal to 100,000 now I'd like to put a formula in here so you can put in the value if true or value if false argument you can put text numbers formulas and functions now I'm gonna do a formula so if he gets a bonus how much does he get so let's say he gets um, 0.05, so 5% of sales. Maybe that's high, but just a sample number. If false, I want to output nothing. So I'm not going to put anything there. Remember, the value if true and value if false arguments are optional. So if it's false, I don't want to output a number. So close parentheses. Now note, once again, I have hard-coded this number in here, the bonus percentage amount. In uh, real-world applications, you would want to set this to another cell and then type in the bonus amount there. So if I wanted to set it to this cell over here, A10, I simply click that cell, type the percentage amount in this cell, and it automatically pulls into the if statement. But for now, we're going to hard-code it and hit Enter. So Andy doesn't get a bonus. So it evaluates to false and outputs false. Now, if you want to make it so that false does not appear here, simply double click, go to the end. Now, what would we like to put if the if function turns out to be false? Nothing, so two quotation marks. Two quotation marks is gonna output no text, just like that. Copy this down and we can see how much each of the employees is going to get as a bonus amount. So that is another application of how to use the if statement, just a little bit different, but instead of text we put a formula right there. So I'm going to leave you with that, and if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there. That's it for this tutorial.